Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to write a small Java program to calculate the sum of an array numbers without the highest and lowest number. For example, if you take this array, the highest number is 10 and the lowest number is 1. So we need to remove these two numbers and calculate the sum. So when I remove these two numbers, the array becomes like this and then we will calculate the sum and it's equal to 26. Let's see the code now. I've written the class called sum without highest and lowest and this is the integer array. In the first method, we are going to receive the numbers and then convert into a stream. First, we have to sort it. Why we have to sort it? Because it's very easy to find out the lowest and the highest number. So I sort it and then I do a skip. Skip of one. When I do a skip of one, it truncate the array. So it will remove the first element and give me the balance. And then after skip, I do a limit. So I limit till eight. So only we get this portion. So we have removed the highest number and the lowest number from the array and then calculating the sum. In the second method, we are going to receive the numbers and then we are going to sort it immediately. After sorting, the array looks like this. And then we are going to use arrays.copy of range. So this is going to copy from index to index that we have provided. So we are giving like, hey, please copy from one to five. So two to eight, it will copy, it will truncate it. So we'll be getting a portion of the array and then do the sum and the result will be stored in the result variable. When I run this program, both the methods are giving the same result, the sum of the integer array, which is 26. It's a very small program. What did I learn? The skip API, limit and copy of range. Please try out. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.